Hi guys, it's good to see you. It's Wednesday and I'm just going to share with you how to do a line plot. Now, since we used our packet today, this is the packet that you're going to be using for your assignment. So make sure you have that out. We worked on that today during our live lesson, okay? Now, what we're going to do with this packet is we're going to take each one of these measurements that we had and we're going to write it down on a piece of paper. So if you need to, pause, take some time, go grab a piece of paper. Once you have your piece of paper, I want you to make sure and write your name and make sure you write the date. So today is the 14th. And we are going to title this Line Plot Activity. 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 Now, when we watched that short video today, we talked about making sure that we have a title. So I'm going to title this, since we were using this to measure objects on the paper, I'm going to just go, go ahead and title this Objects Measured. That's going to be our title for this particular. Now remember, a line plot is when we take those measurements and we put them on a number line. So I'm going to skip a few lines here. I'm going to skip probably around down to one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try seven, seven lines. And I'm going to follow my blue line. And if I notice, I had, remember, if you remember, we had measurements starting at two inches, right? I think that was our lowest, was two inches, because we have one here and we have one here. So we don't have to make the line plot all the way at zero. We can start at two. So I could go two, three, four, and if I remember correctly, the longest line that we had was five and a half. Yes, five and a half. So I'm going to go up to five here. And then in between each one of these whole numbers, I'm going to partition it into fourths because that's how the ruler is going to be read into by quarter inches, right? So that's half, right? Between each one of these is half. And then between each half, I can partition it into fourths. And I'm going to have to go to five and a four, or excuse me, five and a half. So I need to extend my line just a little bit further because this is going to be five and a half. So what I think I'll do is I think I will highlight my half marks to make it easier for me to see when I go to plot. Remember, that's what we, I told you we call that plotting our points. So I'm just going to now go through each object that we measured, and I'm going to plot it on my line plot. So the first one we measured with a pencil, and it was five and a half inches long. So I'm going to, at the five and a half, I'm going to put an X over that five and a half mark. The next pencil we measured was four inches. So above the four, I'm going to plot an X for that pencil measurement. The next one we had was two and a half inches. So two and a half inches is going to be right here where it's nice and highlighted. And that's the, that's the front side. Now we're going to go to the back side where the strings were. Everybody remember the strings? So now when we look at the strings, the first string that we was we measured was three and a fourth. So we want to go to three 
and one fourth is going to be right here. Now, if you want to label these so that you don't get confused, that might be a good idea just to make sure that you don't have any confusion as to where you are plotting your point. So remember, between each hole, there's going to be a fourth, a half, because half is the same as two fourths, and then three fourths, because we're measuring in quarters. Now, we had three and three fourths, four and three fourths, so we're gonna plot. We're gonna plot our point over four and three fourths. The next string that we measured was two inches, so we're going to take and write an, or draw another X over the two inch mark. Oh, that's not two, that's two and a half, huh? Two and a half, so over the two, we're gonna plot over the two, not the two and a half because that was the other pencil. So my apologies. We've got to erase that. And next we go on to the next page. And the next page we measured a nail. And that measured at three and a half. So I'm going to put a mark over the three and a half. I'm going to... The next one was, we said, was a sucker, I believe. Willie said, mentioned, two inches long. So we're going to plot another X over the two for two inches long. Our spoon was four and a fourth. So we're going to plot that over the four and a fourth. And... Finally, we have some in the back. We have a paper clip that's at two inches. So we have another X over the two inch mark. We have the pen at four and a fourth. So at four and a fourth, we're going to plot. Now we have two items that measured at four and one fourth inches. And we have the toothbrush. The toothbrush also was at four inches, but four and a half inches, right? Four and a half. So that's actually the only one that's in that particular. All right, so now what I want you to do is I want you to take your ruler and I want you to measure the length of your pencil that you're using right now. So you're gonna take the ruler that you have right now and you're gonna measure the length Actually, measure the length of any object that you like, as long as it's between two inches and five and a half inches. So if I were going to, let's say, measure the length of my eraser, measure the length of your eraser, this is two and a half inches. So I could plot that above right here at two and a half. Now, I want you to find something and I want you to add to this line plot, okay? See what you come up with. All right, we will do some more plotting of, of measurements on Thursday. Can't wait to see you guys. Have a great Wednesday, and don't forget to put this with your packet when you're finished. Bye, guys. See you on Thursday.